Okay, let's do it. I'm in Boston. And I want to do this mission because it looks like an important one before I carry on to the main story. Hey, you, you and the chimkins. Martial law. Welcome to the regulars! The most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth! Some of you are here by choice, others not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this, rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. <laughs> that should do. Cover me from up there. That ten's a misfire. Yeah. Kill the Templar leader. Over there. Let's start by climbing this house. And then that house. How about we do this? A lot of you will be getting on that ship and setting off for a different sort of training. Understand? You've been selected, not for your talent or fighting prowess, but because of the way you think. You will soon find out what all this means, but no, it is a great honor. Some of you won't hmm. make it. Others will rise to new heights. Either way, you will give your life to a new cause. Yay. This is not climbable, right? No. Is this climbable? Yeah, I can I can handle this. Oops, oops. Not the plan. Yeah, no other way. Oh wait, I have assassins to send to do stuff. Uh, the Quebec Act is complete. Bunch of Canadian ties. You do that. And then... No, that's no good. New Hampshire, do that. Okay. Better. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting? No, 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 you stupid idiot! <sighs> Again? Oh, I can do that. Down. Okay. One. Here, get to here. Okay. No. Yeah, that's not final.
think I can do it from here. When you turn around. He's reloading. Okay, he's dead. Now what? Oh, I missed the timing on that one. Okay, main objective complete. Now what? Do I really need to heal all of them? Grab. Okay, time to take you out. That guy, you can go away too. No, ow. I think that's everything. Killed him. Anyone sure in any way aiding this foul miscreant to receive the utmost punishment of the law? You are warned. Okay, my well, mission is complete. But where the hell is that guy? Good. You can do this. Out. Okay. Where's the Templar leader? <laughs> What's this? Uh, I think something went wrong here. Let's travel on the rail. Okay, let's go to the frontier then.
Does anyone All have a your... horse? Welcome to Buggy Mess 3. It's still a Buggy Mess. Let's try it again. Welcome to the regulars! The most... You want me to take the hands-on approach? Uh, I can do that. Getting on that ship and setting off for a different sort of training. Understand? You've been selected. Okay. He's dead. We assassins strive for peace through freedom and the Templars. They want only to control. Well, I'm for freedom, I know that much. If your order needs a good rifle, sign me up. Sure. Select the marksman ability from the assassin wheel and press assassins to kill enemies nearby. Interesting. Marksman. Cool. In the meantime... Oh, they're all busy. No, they're all free. He's a recruit, he's a corporal. Okay, defend the convoy. Great! Hang on a minute. We have a new recruit. Oh, so I don't need to go talk to him. Where is the new recruit? Quick second to talk to the guy. I'm not playing this game, it's super buggy. I don't see anyone. Okay. Frontier. Close my convoy. If I start there, I start in the camp. Convoy is here. So, port over to here. Convoy. 
Oh, sí. Oh, they're firing on each other. To him too. Oh. Blessings on you, sir. Thank you. Hey, you're transporting my goods. You will take interest. Anything I might have forgotten? No. Main mission time. Here we go, the Patriots. Let's go. John Palco. Captain of the Lexington Militia and therefore the man in charge of, on the day of the battles at Lexington and Concord. Buck was a farmer by trade, but since he'd been s he'd been soldier in the French and Indian War, he was placed in command despite the fact that he was quite ill with the tuberculosis at the time. Parker went on to join the Continental Army in the Siege of Boston, but was too ill to be involved in the Battle of Bunker Hill. Parker died in September of 1775. The st statue of the Minuteman on Lexington Green is said to be a representation of him. Though since there are no known pictures of Parker, the resemblance is sketchy at best. It's the thought that counts. William Molyneux doesn't usually make the list of well-known revolutionaries, mostly because he didn't live to see the outbreak of the revolution. He died in 1774. He was, however, one of the major Whig agitators on the in the years before the war started, right up to the with Samuel Adams and John Hancock. Molyneux was a British-born merchant and supporter of the Patriot cause, as far as the revolutionaries go, that makes him a bit of an outlier. British-born colonists tended to be loyalists. He was Anglican as well, and those congregations were decidedly British-leaning. However, you couldn't doubt Molyneux's devotion to the cause. He was known for being something of a hothead. So much so that he threatened people with death when, he de when they violated boycotts on British goods. Seems a bit extreme. He'd have a bloody field day on forums. On the night of the Boston Tea Party, Molyneux disappeared from the crowd outside of the old South Meeting ho House, though almost every other well-known revolutionary leader was there, still talking to the crowd. Molyneux was, of course, supervising the dumping of the tea. For this reason alone, I am prepared to call him the most evil man in history. Oh, Sean. Shut the hell up. Lexington and Concord. The day after the ride. Are you okay, man? Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! <coughs> Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Pick can. 
Disperse, you damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your positions! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! Don't die here. <coughs> Don't get dead. Come on, we'll meet up with the others in Concord! Ik heb ook een rondte aan. Let's use the map. Uh, keep on this trail and just keep moving. Okay, just keep taking this trail. Get moving, men, with little time. Stick together, boys, and keep the pace. You freaking idiots! To Concord, lads! Move, 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 move! Help! What's happening? Get out! Everyone, run! They're taking prisoners! Run! Look! The Red Coast are taking captives! They're over there! Get out of my way. I've got a surprise for those lobster backs. Lobster backs. <clears throat> what? What did they fail? Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Uh huh. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Can you tell me what I already failed? Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Okay. Rescue civilian hostages. When was that? Kill groups of regulars with a single order. Make ready! Fire now!
Why can't I give the order? What is going on? What the hell is going on? And how can I already fail an optional objective? <coughs> Wait for my signal. <laughs> Open fire. Oh, I think I saw what I was missing. Wait for my signal. yourselves Fire! good now we're walking wait for my signal wait for the signal and More coming in the front flank. Wait for the signal. Fire! Fire! Wait for my signal. Fire now! Make ready! Hold fire! Open fire! Wait for it! Overwhelming us. Go. Prepare yourselves. Fire now. Open fire. Come on. Make ready. Prepare yourselves. Go.
Oh dear god. This is not going well. Uh. They're about to breach! There's too many of them. Hold fire! My signal. Fire! Wait for the signal. Wait for my signal. Yourselves. Make ready. Shoot. Fire now. Make ready. Prepare yourselves. Go. Open fire. Wait for my signal. Go! Make ready. Fire now! Prepare your Go! Fire again. Open fire. Prepare yourselves. Wait for my signal. Fire now. Hold fire. Prepare yourself. Shoot. Hold fire. Come on. Shoot. Okay. Fall back! Fall back! Don't you run away. We did it! They're turning tail! Uh, be careful, they're gonna get your head blown off. Talk to James Barrett. What about the rescue hostage one that it appeared and disappeared? Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. A and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. Mm-hmm. 
It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. Hmm. I don't want to leave the animus. What? What did I fail? What hostage rescues? Game is wheeled. For the support of the glorious cause, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to beg the task. Leave to assure really? The Congress that I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this not in here. Not in here. Do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor. There's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I but doubt not they the will last thing we need is the that two of you coming to blows. General Connor, Washington. Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Yeah, Charles Lee. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're going to get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Yeah, you can't just kill him. Lexington and Concord. Major Lexington militia shots fired. Americans, forever bear in mind the Battle of Lexington, where the British troops, unmolested and unprovoked, want only, and in the most inhuman manner, fired upon and killed a number of our countrymen. Uh. Battles of Lexington and Concord, the night of April 18, 1775. British regulars left Boston on their way to Concord to raid, raid rebel weapon stores. The intent was to make a quick raid, defuse rebel plans to attack the British and capture instigators. John Hancock and Samuel Adams, unfortunately, for the British, the result was the beginning of the American Revolution. In other words, this battle was a complete disaster for the British, and that's not a sentence with which I am 100% comfortable. The rebels had been tipped off about raids weeks before, they'd already moved most of the weapons that the British were looking for, and the night before the battle, Paul Revere and William Dawes brought word that the British were on their way, so by the time the regulars marched onto Lexington near dawn, local militia was waiting for them. Nobody knows who fired the first shot, the British blamed the rebels and vice versa, but in the end the Lexington militia was badly outnumbered and retreated. The British moved on to Concord. By most reports the British were polite in Concord, which I'm sure their mothers would have been delighted to hear about. All apart from one moment, of course, when John Pitcairn threatened a local tavern owner at gunpoint, but to be fair, the tavern owner did know where the weapon caches were. Overall, things didn't really go awry until nearby militia saw some smoke rising above the town. They thought it was on fire and marched in, causing a skirmish at the North Bridge. By the time the British left Concord, more militia had arrived, outnumbering the regulars, and raising tensions further. 
new troops followed the British along the road, bravely firing at them from behind walls and cover of trees. There was little the British could do to fight back, and they were tired and mostly out of ammunition. Some of the regulars even broke ranks and fled. For the rest, it was a long walk back to Boston. Rather than dispersing after the battle, the militia gathered outside of Boston Neck, starting the siege of Boston and the beginnings of the Continental Army. The Continental Congress. You might think of the Continental Congress as a gathering of boring politicians, which it was, but they were also responsible for organizing the revolution and making decisions about the United States government, which also makes them rather dull. Sorry, important. I should actually say the Continental Congresses, because there was more than one. The first Continental Congress was convened in 1774 in Philadelphia to oppose the closing of Boston Harbor following the Boston Tea Party. All of the politicians had such a lovely time at their first meeting that they agreed to have another party, just exactly like it, and why not? Everyone loves the party, right after the Battle of Lexington and Concord. Being men of great imagination, they called this the Second Continental Congress. This was the Congress responsible for writing the Declaration of Independence and forming the Continental Army and George Washington as its commander. So despite their lack of flair for titles, they clearly had some thinkers among them. The Third Continental Congress was convened in 1781. It's sometimes known as the Congress of Confederation. And despite how mind-achingly tedious that sounds, they were responsible for forming the government for the brand new United States. Since getting everyone to agree on how that government should work took some time, the Confederation Congress met over the course of eight years, ending in 1789, when the Constitution passed and they were replaced by the United States government. Now, I've been in some long meetings, but eight years takes the biscuit. I pity whoever was recording the minutes. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Mm -hmm. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Yeah, perhaps. Okay. But so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater. Especially if it saves lives. Yeah, you should learn that. Wooden War Club. Second Continental Congress. I'm in the Scotch regions. Enemies will detect me. Second Continental Congress. Siege of Boston. April 19, 1775 to March 17, 1776. The Siege of Boston began right after the battles of Lexington and Concord. The colonial militia who had gathered to stop the British raids followed the British army to Boston and camped outside, bottling British troops and their loyalist allies in the city. At the time, Boston was a peninsula, attached to the mainland by a thin strip of land known as the Boston Neck. With this blocked, land access to the city was cut off. The siege lasted for most of a year with only one major battle, Bunker Hill. But as with most sieges, it took a toll on the city of Boston. There were shortages, particularly of firewood, and many buildings were torn down to be used as fuel. Of course, the British targeted any rebel-associated building for destruction. As a result, things like the Liberty Tree and the pews from the Old South Meeting House ended up inside the fireplace. The siege ended shortly after the rebels attacked and fortified Dorchester Heights to the south of Boston, giving them the ability to fire on the harbor. Boston's government decided to evacuate rather than fight. On March 17th, Loyalist ships sailed out of the city. March 17th is now known as Evacuation Day and is a holiday in some parts of Massachusetts. The fact that it is also St. Patrick's Day is mere coincidence. 
though it is said that in ancient Gaelic, evacuation means drinking as many pints as possible and being stick in a bin. Being sick in a bin. So, you never know. James Barrett, colonel in the rebel militia of Concord and the town's representative in the Boston legislature in the years leading up to the revolution. Barrett didn't exactly want a position at the head of the militia. He was 65 when the war started. He had his pipe and slippers ready and probably just wanted to watch game shows. Unfortunately for him, experienced commanders were in short supply and Barrett was fought in the French and Indian War, so colonel it was. When the British came to Lexington and Concord looking for rebel weapon caches, the troops headed straight to Barrett's farm, where they were told they'd find the majority of the supplies. Of course, by the time they'd arrived, most of the weapons had been removed and hidden elsewhere. Barrett wasn't there either. He was some distance away, organizing the militia march on North Bridge, and overseeing the eventual victory at Concord. What do we have here? No other special missions. Let's head over to the homestead. And see the book. Anything craftable? I need more stuff. And last one. This should make a nice profit. And my assassins? No? Okay. Oh, there's a homestead mission. Let's do that then. See? My target. Mm. 
Yes, moving. What the hell is that? Um, up? Come on, it's just a space between trees. What's going on? You hunting? White trophy. Could you make a little more noise? Yes, if you want. Been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. St okay, that's a bit loud. Quiet. Let me do this. White cougar mugging. What did the drop fell? Got his trail yet? Almost. What the hell is that? Look at the size Watch of those us. claw marks. Yep. Better shoot true. We're not shooting. If you want the skin, you don't shoot. Whoa, what did you eat? A taste for fresh meat. I've seen this before. Looks fresh. He's close. There he goes! We won't get another chance at this. Then run. Come on, Connor. We won't see him again after this. This is our only shot. Hurry up. <clears throat> nope, he's too fast. What? Where'd he go? You must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out and the other waits out here to shoot. Shoot the head. I will go in. Make sure it's a headshot. Uh, hell. Nice shot. Thank you, Miriam. That was quick. Oh, uh, Miriam's level two. Yay, Miriam's level two. Oh, uh, could go for dinner. Oh, we got another one. In fast travel between cities by zooming out entirely. Oh, okay, yeah, I know that.
Go, 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 go. What you doing? Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale or some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver, and that is Corinne. Great people. Ollie. This is Connor, the man I was talking about, the Lord of a Manor. We were passing through his all and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty and we had some barrels in the back. And... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, and left us out on a round bar. Hey, yeah. you should settle here. We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> Would, but without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Ollie. We'll have an inn again. Okay. Help Oliver and Corinne with an investment of a thousand pounds. I can do that. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Good to keep some money on hand. Nice place. Then convoy to Boston. Here is a be flour. Here is a be salt. Where am I? Okay. Nice place you got here. Miles End, room and board. Cool. What's up? Delicious, love. Connor, what brings you? I was passing by and I thought I would stop in and see how you were faring. Well, that's nice of you. Well, my boy, we are faring very well. Between those who live here, the sailors coming and going from the pier, not to mention the travelers. Our beds are always full and our taps are always flowing. Good. I am pleased things have worked out for you here. As are we, Connor. I'd be lying if I told you we weren't worried when we were ousted from our old place. For the Lord works in mysterious ways. You follow whatever you want. Patriot escape. Simon failed. Oh, okay. That's the again, the game that's buggy. Flipper Wilkinson was injured. Fine, I'll wait until he's good again and then I'll send you on your next mission. Okay, what's that? What you doing? Hey, Connor! Gentlemen, you seem to be getting along. Oh, aye. We're just on our way to have an ale. You might have noticed, I've got a bit of a temper problem. Oh, Diana's fine, the spuds are fine. They've got a good thing going on here. I'm just happy I didn't they hurt old Godfrey. Wouldn't they have been able to forgive myself? So am I, Terry. So grateful you didn't poke me with your tiny fists. <laughs> Do not rail me up. All right, all right, take it easy. I am happy things are well again. Okay. 
Uh, let's go back to the homestead and check the book. Should have new stuff in now. Wait, does a homestead mission heal? Manor mysteries, what? Karma, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually the right piece will present itself. As you hmm. wish. Hmm. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Come Could on. Could you retrieve it for me? Come I on. I go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Oh, you're stuck on the wall. Come on. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. Shouldn't I have more outfits in here? Three all outfits. Yeah, I should have at least two. Three. You. Talk to Norris about explosives. The Hessian X. Oh, right, this is where I keep all the weapons. Okay. Where's Norris? Over there. Why can't I fast travel? Festival now. Can the festival now? Ah, uh, fine. I'll see it is then. 